This trash was found on the island of Santa Lucia in Cape Verde and cleaned up by an environmental organization called Biosfera. Our observer Blondine Melis is Biosfera's director. Her team looked at the object's labels and counted 25 countries. We've seen things from Ghana, from Togo, South Africa, Malaysia, from pretty much all five continents. It's impossible to know exactly where the trash was discarded, but the labels give us an idea. We see trash, water bottles, cans, some of it comes from Cape Verde, of course. But we are close to the coast of West Africa, so lots of the trash comes from there. Take the example of octopus pots, for instance. It's a technique that's used by fishermen in Mauritania. They put plastic pots out in the sea, tied together. If there's a strong current, the lines break and the pots float away. We see lots of them, not just a few dozen, hundreds of them. Blondine and her organization are worried about trash piling up on Achado's beach, where many sea turtles go to lay their eggs. We have sea turtles here in Cape Verde, loggerhead turtles, which are classified as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. When the beaches are covered in trash, it's a real obstacle for the female turtles, who are trying to lay their eggs, but it's even worse for the babies. They can't get out to sea because they get caught up in the trash. To fight against this, Biosphera intends to continue their cleanups, but it's also calling on nearby countries to tighten their regulations. Their goal, to stop plastics and fishing gear from ending up in the ocean.